Hi, how can I help you? Uh, who am I calling, sir? This is Godiva, Marantha Motlitz. You know what, I've been getting calls all day long that I'm calling somebody and I'm not calling anybody. That's very strange. I would definitely give your phone company a call. Whoever you are, quit calling me. We're calling you? I've got your phone number and I'm going to wring your fucking neck. I'm sorry? Asshole. Thank you. I said, wait till you meet my little gator. You two are going to fall right in love. My dear, I hope so. Are you sure he's gay? Well, I just use common sense. I mean, if they're smart, they're queer. And if they're stupid, they're straight. Right, Ernie? Are you sure you won't have another pretzel? I'm sure, Miss Thing. I'm sure. Pretzels give you plaque. You're speaking so softly, I can barely hear you. Yeah, you are too. You're mumbling too. Do you have do you have candy in your mouth, Fred? Is that why you can't understand? Um, people can't understand what you're saying. Are you eating candy? Say yes. <laughs> is that it? I don't know. You tell me. Is it? You're not bothering you me. You can only say you can only say three words. Did I sound like you were bothering me? I'm writing it down like just you to keep saying it. You're calling yes, us. Yes, I know. That's... Your bell lunch. For lunch. Yeah, I'll take the pepperoni with extra cheese. Thank you. Sorry, sir. This is Guinness Storehouse in Dublin. This is regarding walnuts. Okay, but Hello? I'm going to hang up there, okay? You fucking asshole. Excuse me? Oh, fuck you. Okay, so I'm going to take your Anybody number now, here? right? I've got your phone number, and I'm going to wring your fucking neck. Nothing left to discuss. Well, what am I supposed to do now? That's what I'd like to know. You can eat shit for all I care, Miss Sandstone, or eat anything that you like, or do anything that you like. Just don't assume that I want to know your troubles. Now, uh, let me ask you this, Vicky. When you go to business... Do you dress in a dress like that or a skirt and sweater? What do you usually wear? I usually wear a white shirt, tie, sports jacket. Are those your own eyelashes? No. And Sonia, is that your own hair? No. That's a very lovely dress, too, that you're wearing, Simone. Where'd you buy it? Oh, I made it myself. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason for using first names only for these very, very charming contestants is that right now, each one of them is breaking the law. The contest in which they were runners-up was a masquerade. Actually, in the vernacular, it's called a drag ball. You see, each of our contestants is a man. In just a moment, we'll be back to talk to them individually. obvious to you that you don't lead a normal life in terms with which we're familiar. Would you say that you're a happy, fulfilled person? Well, I'm, I'm very happy, but I'm not quite fulfilled until I get my sex change and become a complete woman. Then I'll be happy, completely. Simone, how old are you? 
funny. When did you first discover that you were effeminate? Well, I think we ought to clear up what's feminine and what's gay. Well, what's the difference? Well, a gay person is a boy that is attracted to another boy or a girl that's attracted to another girl. And feminine, anybody can be feminine. There's a lot of married men that have feminine instincts. You know, they have a limp wrist or they walk a little more feminine than the other man. Now, Simone, you openly admit that you're a homosexual. What do your parents think about this? Well, I think my parents really don't know. I could, you could say I live a double life, that on weekends I dress up like a girl, and then when I come home on Sunday afternoons or so, I, I look like a normal boy in the neighborhood. And I, I think as long as this happens, my parents don't suspect anything. So I have girls from work I, I go out with during the week. And the girls do call the house, so... Have you ever had sexual intercourse with a girl? No. Have girls don't attract me sexually. I like girls that are pretty and all. I like to be seen with pretty people. But sexually, girls just turn me off, I'd say. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I have an older brother. Does he know that you're homosexual? No. What do you think he'd do if he found out? Probably kill me. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 20. Well, then you're old enough to be drafted. Yes. Have you been drafted? No. What happened? Oh, I guess I had a horrible experience when they called me down there. I just stood out from the rest of the people. My Peggy? Thirsty Griselda? You better go see about your wife. She's having another mental fit. I thought you had been stealing my liquor. Ain't nobody stealing nothing from you, Mr. Gravel. We'll see about that. You didn't know I marked these, did you? Here, look here. See this pencil line? That was marked just yesterday. You've had quite a few cocktails, haven't you, Griselda? Well, what else have you pilfered? I think I'll have a look in that purse. You ain't looking in my purse. Why not? Got something to hide? Don't you know men aren't supposed to look in a lady's handbag?